today we have got an important job to do for Olive. We are going to go and get her weighed and see exactly how heavy she is and whether all of this wood has taken us over our weight limit. You may remember if you've been following us for a while that our bus was actually too light and it failed its MOT. If you haven't seen it, I'll put the link to the video just there. But we have filled this. We are a family of four living full time in this bus. We have a lot of stuff. Let's go and see how much we actually weigh. Book. Are you scared, Lena? Do you reckon we'll be overweight or underweight? Underweight. Oh, let's see. We haven't actually told you where we are. We are in Froome. We used to live in Froome, so we know it quite well. We're here to visit some friends. But for now, Weybridge. <laughs> But first, we've got to fill it with fuel to check it properly. Actually, have you seen the size of the lid? It's huge! It is a huge vehicle! <laughs> right. I've just come around the corner and just seen how much it has cost to fill this bus. £119.63. Yep, 70 litres. It was just under a quarter. Actually, this is not Oh my god. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this is how much it costs to fill a massive, great big library bus. Right, important stuff. Let's go and get snacks. Oh, I don't know what to get. He's going to have four vegan sausage rolls. Thank you. Four sausage rolls for the price of three. So that means we can all have one and there will be no arguments. Have you paid for fuel? No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> so Jen just went to me. So the people that are talking to us on the tannoy and Jen just went, they're not talking to us. And I was like, yeah, they are. And then the lady came out and she's like, Kath, have you paid for fuel? I was like, no, I've sat in here. You went inside. <laughs> she just had to go in. How embarrassing. <laughs> um, so where's my receipt? I have paid for fuel now. But two, let me just spin the camera around. Hi, guys. Hi. Were you watching us yesterday? We, we were. were. Yeah, watching you on YouTube yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We so it. thank you very much. Yeah. And safe, here. Safe oh. travels. Oh, thank you for our sticker. Thank you. <laughs> God, I realise that we should be like super professional and like, oh yeah, so this happens all the time, but it doesn't. And that was amazing. And do you know what? To all of you guys that watch our YouTube, just thank you so much. Like, we are going to get geeky and all like giddy about stuff like this. So thank you. We appreciate the comments. We appreciate you coming to say hi. Definitely come and say hi. It was. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Jen was inside, and I was like, oh, it was, it was strange, but I loved it. So, thank you, and let's get back to the wave bridge. Bye! No one knows. No one knows. So we found the place where we are going to get weighed, but we don't actually know where we're going. So I'm going to head in and find out what we need to do. What are our options? Um, well, I can weigh your first axle, and then I can weigh your back axle yep. and we can add the weight together. That sounds good. So she's on. So most people only really worry about the weight of their vehicle for legal reasons but actually because we're going to the Alps we'll be going up and down the mountains and it will put a massive strain on this vehicle. So we want to make this vehicle as fuel efficient as possible. Efficient as possible but let's face it it's not that efficient we've just seen that while we were filling up. Let's try our best though. We are about to just come round and get on it. And the guy has spoken to us about weighing both the axles separately so we all know what's on the front and what is on the back axle of our vehicle. So that is the front axle weighed. And now we need to go to so our front wheels are off the weigh bridge, but our back wheels are on the weigh bridge to weigh the back axle. And then we're gonna weigh everything as well and make sure all the numbers add up. Okay, moment of truth. I'm now heading into the little Weybridge office. Can to let us know whether we are 
Under seven and a half ton. Okay, so your front axle, that's your back axle. Always going to be more on the uh, back axle. Yeah, so it? that's the difference between them. Yep. But if we add those together, it's 6.20, which is 20 kilos off them. 6.20, and that is on a seven and a half ton. So we have got loads of weight left to play with. And like Kath said, the stress on the vehicle for going up and down the Alps, the lighter it is, so hopefully more fuel efficient and the better it will be for the vehicle. So this is great news. Okay, so I've hidden the actual results because I know what we weigh, but Kath doesn't. Trying to put my sad face on. We have head off again, which is a ballsy move, Kath, because uh -huh. you don't know if you're over the weight limit or not. Moment of truth. What's your thoughts? Are we over the weight limit? No, we're not over the weight limit. Okay, what do you think? Uh, I think six and a half. Six and a half, okay. Grand total is 6.2. So we have loads of weight. And that fill is, it up, fill it with everything. Well, we can't have filled it with everything. We've got the bikes in the back. We have got a full fuel, full water. Actually, we've got full grey waste as well, which is stupid, but... Right, let's go and take these kids to the woods and explore some of the woods and some of the forest that is around Froom. So we've just come a short drive from Froom up by Longleat, the Safari Park and Centre Parks, but we're not going in them. We are parked at Heaven's Gate Car Park. We are gonna go for a walk and have a look at this beautiful forest. I'm gonna quickly show you how you check what your vehicle is allowed to weigh. So ours is in the driver's seat. Some of them will be in the bonnet. The top number. So we are allowed 7,490. So nearly seven and a half, but not quite. Don't ask me why. And then it does a combination weight. So that's the one underneath it. And if we were towing something, that's what that is. We've then got number one and number two, the axles. So it should be fine, but we just need to check it. But the back weight is absolutely fine. We can fill that garage endlessly. So this is great walk and uh, it's only short it's nice and easy it's not circular which i love a circular walk but it's not circular but what it is <laughs> is perfect nice and flat easy walk but do make sure you lock your vehicles in there people know roughly how long the walk is and cars have been broken into so we've put our steering lock on and we have i've got kids running at me we've put our steering lock on and we've made sure that it was all locked with the curtain shut and now we're gonna start the walk. Hey, Mummy, your binoculars. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, what we have been doing is using this little I Spy book from Collins. We love these, by the way. They're only like three ninety nine, and they're amazing. And oh, so, how much did you pay for this one? Two ninety nine. She got it wrong. Whatever. <laughs> and one of the things to do, let me find it, is weave in and out of trees. And you get 10 points for that, Luna. So go find some trees to weave oh, in and out I wonder of. where you could do it. I think you've got 10 points there. So take the pen. Okay, and then can you tick there and say you've got 10 points. So even though it's a bit grey and a bit wet, there are so many different colours of leaves that Luna keeps trying to catch. It's so cute. And yeah, it's beautiful. We're trying to capture how beautiful it is. It's just such an easy walk. This is another one of the little things that you can do. There's loads of little dens like this, where we can hide. Luna's, Luna's all the way in there. Found chestnuts. So ah. not conkers, ah. even though they look similar. Ah. Oh my God. Ah. I just picked them off the ah. floor. <laughs> <laughs> Kath is like fighting the spikiest thing ever. Ah. I feel like it will be fresher. Ah. Again. Ah. I picked oh, these off the floor. They're so spiky. Can you go? Nice. I don't like them roasted though. I don't particularly like them, but I like that we foraged these and it's good for teaching Luna and Bodhi exactly what you can eat from the woods. So yeah, chestnuts. <laughs> Luna, what have we found? We found like this gate, but we don't know what is in it. Let's see. Let's see. So Luna is right, at the end of Heaven's Gate Walk, you get to a gate and it opens up onto something beautiful. And we'll show you that now. 
So when you come through the gate, you find all of these sculptures here that are done by a local artist. I would know his name if I read any of the signs. But also you have a massive circular sculpture that kind of leads out. And, and then you've got a view over there where you look out over Longleat Estate and it is beautiful. Today, I mean, we seem to just film on really rubbish grey days where you can't see anywhere. But the view is still stunning today, even though it's a bit grey and overcast. Does it remind you of Stargate? Have you ever watched Stargate? No. Comment below if the circle reminds you of Stargate. Comment below if you've never watched Stargate. <laughs> so we've just got back to the bus and now it's time to get these guys vaguely clean. How did Bodhi get clean? Are you all clean? Ah. <laughs> Luna's all clean. So Bodhi, Bodhi got naked and went in the sink. Luna's a little bit too big to go in the sink now, but I have made Madame your feet were cold, weren't they? A foot spa. There goes, that warming them up. What are you doing, guys? <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Oh, um, so <laughs> today is Halloween. I don't know whether we told you guys, but we are going out trick or treating. Trick or treating? We are. We are going out trick or treating, and I am making Luna into a scary Anna. A scary Anna. At the moment, she is a beautiful Anna, but I'm about to make her scary. Happy Halloween! Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween. <laughs> Guys, we're going to go trick or treating, even though it's raining. But for now, we are going to say thank you for watching. Goodbye for Bye now. For now. <laughs> 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 I love that side eye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>